Okay, this is a really quick talk through exercise four. Now, basically on exercise four, you're adding some market percentages and VAT percentages. So the market percentage is going to be 20%. The VAT percentage is going to be 15%. And you can see when we enter this, it's going on the right-hand side. It's also adding two decimal points, which is something in the formatting we can change if we want. Um, but the key bit is because it's on the right-hand side, it's recognizing this as a number entry. Now, to do the markup price here, we now just need to do equals sum, open brackets, click on the cell we want to pick up the original number from, so this is B5. Then we're going to add in B5 multiplied by the markup, which is B1. Close both brackets and press enter, and you find you get £24. Now, LibreOffice, which is the version I'm using, is fairly forgiving on this, but you'll see here that at the moment my currency is being shown on the left-hand side, and normally mathematical functions should show on the right-hand side, and alphanumeric ones should show on the left-hand side. So let's try the same activity using the online version of Excel. So in here, just clear that cell where I've clearly been playing around, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to set that the markup is 20%. And I'm going to set that the VAT is 15%. Now, I've played around with this a bit before, but just to prove this, I'm going to right-click, go to Number Format. This needs to be a percentage, and I'm going to drop the decimal places to zero to make it a bit neater. The VAT, right-click again, Number Format, needs to be a percentage. I'm going to drop the decimal places to zero again on this one to make it a bit neater. If we now put the market price in here and do exactly the same thing we did in LibreOffice, so it's equals sum, open brackets, we want to take the B5, we want to add on to it B5 multiplied by the markup, which is B1, and close it, then we get an error. Now, the reason we get an error is to do with this. Can you see this is, again, left-hand formatted? Now, LibreOffice is forgiving about this, but Excel isn't. So what we need to do here is right-click, go to Number Format, change this to something like Currency. Now, because this was a UK example, I'm going to change the symbol to being um, GBP. So I'm going to scroll down here until I find a G. Maybe. Okay, there we go. English. Use the island pound. That's that's the euro. Let's put that one into. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it as the euro for now, just as an example for now. Okay, now that should take place in a second. And if that does, we'll try again. So it should be showing as a currency symbol now. Oh, right, yes. Now, once you've added it as a currency symbol, this is still be thinking that this pound symbol is throwing it. So we're going to delete that. I'm just going to write 20 in. And you'll find that now should show as a euro symbol. And as well as showing as a euro symbol, the marks at price will now work. So it'll be the same on here. You want to go to right-click. You want to go to number format. Again, you're going to set this as a currency. To maintain consistency with the other one, I'm now going to set this one as a euro again. So I'm going to choose English uh, euro. That's fine. And press OK. I don't particularly mind if you don't use the pound. Just try to stay consistent on which currency you do use. Again, it doesn't change it because the pound symbol is throwing it. So we're going to click off and write just 75 in here. And I'll now pick that up as a euro. And again, when we now add the formatting here, if we do equals sum... Um, and we click on the first one, and we add on the uh, second one plus the market price, which we set as a percentage, then you should find it works. Okay? You see I made a small error there, because that wasn't a plus. That should have been a times. Okay, so just watch the numbers where you expect it to be. This one I've now, you see, I've also set as a currency figure. So this one I should also set as a currency figure. So let's do that here. Let's take that in. Let's make that one a currency as well. And again, I don't really mind which one of these you use. 
okay just make sure it's consistent so for, because for some reason I've decided to randomly use the euro I'm going to continue using the euro throughout the example here okay and then that's pretty much how it should be looking at this point